Is your child ready for slime? A checklist. Hi, I'm Sasha, and if you don't know me, my life has taken me to a place where I know way too much about slime, and I also know a lot about kids and work with kids often. So I'm here to answer one of my most frequently asked questions, which is, what slime should I get for my kid? And the answer usually isn't about the slime. It's usually about the kid and actually you a little bit. So go through this checklist before you even go shopping, and then once you've decided that this works for you, then jump right in. Number one is your kid still putting stuff in their mouth? And I'm not talking about the occasional like whatever, you know your child, right? Is your kid still the type of toddler or little kid, four or five, whatever, that is still just picking up random stuff and putting them in their mouths? Regardless of neurodiversity or neurotypical brain functioning, kids put things in their mouths, right? And they develop past that at all different levels. Let's be honest, I actually have an adult friend who still tastes all my slime. Don't, don't do that, don't, don't do that. If your kid is still in the pick it up and taste it phase, just give it a bit. Maybe a year, maybe two years. No, slime isn't toxic, but why risk it, right? Number two. Number two is about you. Are you ready to sit with them? When you are under five years old or when your child is under five years old, slime is not a babysitting toy. It can become that later. Children who are eight, nine, 10, 11 can sit alone and play with slime for hours or make slime for hours and express their creativity and learn science and all these things. But when they're under five, they are going to need you to be there and be present with them and be ready to help them with the slime. That's just a fact. Number three, how frustrated do you get when you have to clean up messes? This sounds like a weird question, but I'm being serious for a second. Take a moment and think about it with yourself. When you have to clean up really big messes that your kids make, do you get angry? Does it upset you? Because if it does, just skip this. Because when you are under five, you're probably gonna make a mess with slime. So look at your child and say, I'd rather not be angry at my child and give them a different toy for now. Now, there are some parents who don't care. Like I play with slime with my niece who's two and sometimes she gets it all over her clothes and I don't care. I just clean it up. Her mom doesn't care. We just clean it up. But if it bothers you, know that about yourself and choose a different toy until they are old enough to clean it up themselves, right? Because if you look around your house and you cannot handle any kind of mess or the idea of scrubbing slime out of clothes and having those clothes smell like vinegar until you toss them in the wash really bugs you, this isn't for you, right? And again, this isn't about the kid. This is about you and knowing where your threshold for this is. Some parents truly believe that making these messes is a part of learning and development. If you're one of those parents, great, jump on in. We're all in and I can help you with the slime sitch. But if you are not, don't bother. And number four is going to be my last one for now, which is do your children have sensory issues? And those can vary, right? Sensory issues run the gamut. And if they do have sensory issues, that doesn't mean that slime is an automatic no. It just might mean that there's a learning curve until you find one that works for them, right? So you might buy a butter thinking that it's really good and they might hate the feeling and the texture of it, and then it's useless to you. Maybe you end up liking it. Maybe a different child in your house ends up liking it. Maybe their cousin or friend at school ends up liking it. But you have to be ready for that trial and error that might cost you some money. So those are the four things that I would start with before even deciding what slime to get for your kiddo. If this has been helpful to you, I hope that you'll consider sharing it with another parent in your life or someone who has nieces or nephews and is looking to find out about this. Even grandparents always ask questions about what kind of slime to get. And I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments. See y'all later. Bye guys.